Hello Kilbury Valley teachers. In today's video, I'll discuss with you the ins and outs of uploading videos onto Seesaw. Things that I'll be covering include the different ways that you can upload videos onto Seesaw, including uploading a video you already had, creating a video in Seesaw, linking YouTube videos, and creating a screencast on Seesaw. I'll also talk to you about different ways that you can record yourself. One way that you can upload a video is through an announcement to your students. If you go over to Inbox, Student Announcements, and then select to send a student announcement, choose all your students. Maybe you could type a description of your, click on Add an Attachment, and you want to upload. So the types of video files that Seesaw accepts are MP4s, MOVs, and Web. M. If you're not sure how to tell what type of file your video is, if you go to where your video is saved, right click in the white, go to view, details, under type, mp4. So I know that these three videos are good to upload. That's not my llama. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drag it over to the square and drop it in. Once you've uploaded your video, you click on the tick, your video is attached, send now. This might be useful if you're wanting to do a daily check-in and you can send it to the parents as well if you want. The students cannot reply to this. So if you want them to do an activity, it would be best to put the video into an activity. That's something I'll show you later. Okay, so now you can see that in my students' inbox, they will receive this video from me. There are a variety of ways that you can record yourself. Your laptop should have a camera on the front that you can record yourself with. So if you were to search for camera, camera app, there we go. My front facing camera is up. I've got it selected on video. So as soon as I press video, it will begin recording and it will save my video for me. That's how I did the one that I uploaded just then. You could record yourself on your mobile phone. You'll want to then transfer that onto your computer, so it's saved there. You could transfer it with a cord or by emailing it to yourself, depending on the size of the video. Another option, you could record yourself using your iPad. And again, you'll want to email that to yourself or transfer it straight onto your desktop, depending on the size of your video. And let's say I wanted the students to respond to the video. Maybe I'm wanting them to do a book review. We'll add an activity. And now you're going to actually create your own. So create a new activity, put the details of your activity in here, then scroll down, add template for student responses, upload your file, and drag and drop it in here again, just like we did before. Once your video is uploaded, click on the tick, click on save, and you've now created an activity. Assign it to your class and the students will now be able to watch the video and then they'll be able to answer these questions and send the answers back to you. Another option is to record your video directly into Seesaw. So when you go to send your announcement, add an attachment and select video. This will open up your front facing camera. Now when I'm ready, I can click on one of the record buttons. And I can begin making a video for my students. So I might want to show them the book that I'm reading and read the book out loud to them or whatever other video, maybe a welcome video, a hello, a check-in, whatever you want to do. Once you're done, click on pause or done and that's now attached and ready to send home. Again, as I said, students cannot reply to announcements so if it's something that you wish for the students to reply to, put it into an activity. You're also able to upload videos by linking to the video. So say I have gone onto YouTube and I found the video that I want. I'll get the link from up here and copy it. I can send it home to the parents and the students in a similar way to where I sent home the video. So I can go into the inbox and I can send a student announcement. When I go to add an attachment, instead of uploading it, I'm going to click on link, paste the link in there, click on the green tick, and that can now be sent home to the parents and the students. 
Again, please remember, students cannot reply to an announcement. So if you're wanting them to reply to your video, you'll need to do it as an activity, as I showed you before. The parents can reply to an announcement though. One final way that you can send home a video is through the drawing function. So again, go to my inbox. I'll click on send an announcement, choose who I want to send it to. But this time when I add an attachment, I'm going to go to drawing. In here, you can click on record. And Seesaw will now record your voice while you're also doing things on the screen. Please note it will only do a five minute video. Maybe you are modeling how to do addition and putting addition into the correct columns. And you can talk while you're doing this as well. And when the students see it, they'll hear your voice at the same time as you're doing things on the screen. So yes, this is not a video of you, but this is essentially them watching you work on the whiteboard. Once you've finished your recording, click on done. You can review it here so you can play it, listen to it, make sure you're happy with it, re-record if you have to. If you're happy with the video, you can then click on the tick and it's ready to send home. Again, another reminder, students cannot reply to announcements. So if you want them to reply to it, please send it as an activity. Now I'll try and answer some of the questions that you might have about videos and seesaws. A audio annotation, what I just showed you then with the drawing and the speaking, that video can be five minutes long. If you're leaving an audio comment, so you're making a comment on a student's work and you're talking instead of typing, that can only go for two minutes. Videos can only be five minutes long. Video size can only be 500 megabytes. And the best thing is, don't worry, you cannot fill up your seesaw. There is an unlimited storage space on the seesaw journals. So guys, I hope that was helpful for you. If you do have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thank you. Bye.